Hello System Masters and Mistresses, MSM here and today uh, I would like to talk to you about the uh, new controller, the Big 6 it's called, released by uh, Retrobit um, because a lot of YouTubers are already starting, starting to talk about it uh, they think it is uh, the best controller, uh, it feels great, it plays great and all of that good stuff, right? So that must be the truth, right? Well, not really. And <laughs> this is not me doing drama, I promise. Uh, but you really want to avoid buying uh, the big six or even I would say anything retro bit and I will explain you why. So uh, first of all, if you are going to play your Sega Genesis or Master System uh, casually, uh, you can buy one of these controllers, uh, I will say it right off the bat. Uh, if you don't ever expect to deal with warranty or anything like that, and you're just gonna play it with it once a month, uh, or you're gonna do like most of you, the retro gaming community, uh, buy it, try it a couple days, and then leave it there on the side taking dust, never touch it again, maybe once a year. Yeah, sure, you can buy it. You know, I, you, I'm sure you're going to be happy with it. Um, but if you're going to play a lot of Sega, uh, you really don't want to buy that. I have bought a few of those. Um, I like the look. Um, I like the, the feel. The first time I, I had them in the hand, I thought they were awesome. Um, unfortunately, I came to regret that. Uh, because while when you play with it in the beginning, they are indeed good, uh, they have an extremely flimsy D-pad. This D-pad is horrible. This is something made out of cheap plastic. This is not at all like uh, the original Sega Genesis controller. Like, not even close. Not even close. I can't explain to you how bad this D-pad is. And uh, unfortunately here, when uh, Mad Little Pixel, uh, which is a, a great YouTuber, I have nothing against the guy. Uh, I'm not trashing him whatsoever. Uh, he, he doesn't know, unfortunately, but when he tested it, he said, uh, the D-pad the feels great. He said, uh, the D-pad doesn't feel like it's going to break. Uh, it is going to break, it is. Play with this controller for one month straight and it will break. I've broken two of those in one month, all right? Uh, as you guys know, I speed run, so I play with these daily. I just need one month. It doesn't need a year, it doesn't need two years. Uh, an OG Sega Genesis controller, 20 years later, still works. Uh, this, after one month, was dead, all right? So you guys have to know that, and then you're gonna say, yeah, but you can contact them, and uh, they can replace it for you, right? Right? Well, yes and no. So the first time, they did send me another uh, one uh, that, that just took a few emails. Uh, that was that you always have to go through some guy that's from another company. It's not even from Retrobit. It's like a contractor or whatever that has some stock. Uh, it's weird. You'll see if you email the guy. He's not. He doesn't say Retrobit in his signature. It's weird. Uh, but he will send you one at first. But then when the second time it breaks. So I had moved to a new address uh, <laughs> and he sent me to my old address. You're gonna think I'm gonna say another controller, right? No, he sent me the parts. You're gonna say, he asked you to send the parts, right? He asked you if you're okay with that. No, he just decided without telling me to send me the parts to my old address. and. I don't want to be opening one of these. I speed run with these. I need them to be in pristine condition, right? I don't want to be opening this up and have a flimsy D-pad or something that's refitted that's not gonna work 100%. I don't want, I need this uh, factory, uh, like good straight from the factory with everything perfect on it. And so no, he sent me uh, all the buttons to my old address. And since then, I contacted the guy back, uh, and it was hard to reach them again. So uh, at some later on, at some point, uh, I got a hold of him again, and uh, they apologized. They're like, "Oh, okay, sorry." The supervisor 
responded and uh, we apologize that uh, we're gonna send you uh, um, a, a, another controller at your new address uh, okay I'm like okay fine this is my new address uh, and that was what two or three months ago guess what I've received on my new address absolutely nothing <laughs> I have not received anything uh, now I'm sure if they watch this video they're gonna be like oh we're so sorry we're gonna send you one but like I don't want to be like spending my entire day talking to a customer service like that I don't want to sound like a Karen or anything but like I shouldn't be sending f 10 emails to get this replaced because there has been quite a few so and this shouldn't be breaking all the time and also one other thing is I've I've raised that with them I've asked them multiple times on Twitter and by email is the new big six going to have the same d-pad yes or no they have never been able to tell me and as I can see on this picture right here this looks exactly like this d-pad this is the exact same d-pad this is not the original three button controller d-pad whatsoever if you want one uh, the, the one that's sold by Nintendo for Nintendo switch is uh, a real um, it feels like a, the original OG d-pad uh, so that one looks like it's really made by Sega not contracted by a third company like Retrobit that is using Sega's logo here uh, and it's a shame that they're allowed to do that and this is why these controllers are $20 I believe or $15 on Black Friday sale you're you're telling yourself yeah it's so cheap uh, it's so amazing I can play with this on my PC which is the only way to play with uh, this type of controller on your PC but unfortunately it is to avoid I, I this one is sealed in the box as you can see I don't intend to ever open this uh, what I use now to speedrun is uh, the 8-bit dough controller this one this I've been using it for a long long time now this has never broken the d-pad still feels like it is uh, I, it's untouched it's like it's brand new but I've been using this every single day the buttons are amazing it is compatible with everything even the Xbox Series X if you want uh, all the sticks are the, the quality of this is amazing but this is not $20 like this one this one is around $60 I believe uh, I'll put the link in the description it's not sponsored uh, but uh, if you're interested uh, by, by getting a good controller I'll put the link for this in the description down below I will also put the link of uh, the run I was doing so I was speed running I was on world record pace for outrun with uh, one of these and uh, so as you will see in my highlight on Twitch my highlight video it broke live on world record pace so this <laughs> this is not something that's supposed to happen you know the but I, I guess you get what you pay for this is twenty dollars but uh, you know be careful because these you know youtubers that don't play uh, games a lot you know they talk I know I respect to my little pixel you know he switches from one console to another and that's awesome but he probably doesn't play Genesis all the time with the, these types of controller because it would have already broken for him you know so uh, be careful uh, don't listen to anything everything you're hearing on YouTube uh, listen to somebody who's used them for uh, at least a month like I have and uh, this is not just me by the way I talked to some other runners uh, that have uh, had one of these break so um, yeah I'm, I'm not alone in this I'm not making this up this is a common problem that these d-pad will break and uh, it's a hassle to get them replaced too so at some point when you know the first time they'll send you one and then the second time they will start you know getting aggravated and they will take longer and be more difficult to replace it for you so uh, yeah that's a problem retro bid retro bid is to avoid uh, but if you get uh, like this a real Xbox Series X controller you will not have an issue or like I said the 8-bit though fantastic controller uh, really not nothing to say against that and this one is even better than their normal one because the Xbox one has the A on the, the bottom instead of the A on the side like for their other controller 
So if you want the A at the bottom, you just get the Xbox version. This is why I have this one. And uh, yeah, this is amazing. But uh, no, this is junk, all right? So just needed you guys to know. Uh, don't buy this for anybody's Christmas. <laughs> that, that's not a good gift, all right? With the big six here, you don't want to buy that. Uh, unless they're going to play once with it and then leave it there, you know? Um, yeah, even if you're cheap, there's better options than, than that. If you're on, if you want to buy a controller on the cheap, uh, you can buy there. There's cheaper version of these where you don't have the handles, and uh, they're also wired like this one. I prefer wired because you have less latency. But uh, there's cheaper versions of 8-bit those if you don't have a lot of money, and uh, <laughs> it's really night and day. All right, so I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, a, a quick word of warning because uh, I'm seeing this and I'm like uh, you have no idea man when you talk about the d-pad uh, I like Ron here I have nothing against you but you have no idea what you're talking about when it comes to the d-pad uh, I've begged uh, Retrobit to do anything for the big six they have not listened why because probably it cost uh, a little bit of money to change uh, the d-pad but it's sad when you know that this one is much more expensive than this one. I, so this one was $20, 15 on sale, and the big six, I think, is $35. LA couldn't even be bothered to change the D-pad, you know? So, yeah, there you go, guys. This is my take of the day for uh, the big six announcement from Retrobit. I hope you enjoy it, or you don't, but enjoy it. Buy an 8-bit dough and enjoy gaming, all right? So I hope you guys have a good evening, and uh, remember to master your systems. Bye, guys.